Obama, Biden did nothing to stop Putin taking Crimea. Burisma benefited from Putin taking Crimea. And Burisma was paying the son of Biden. Hi, this is Joe Lindsley, Ukrainian Freedom News, speaking every single day from Ukraine on Chicago's WGN Radio. Please like, subscribe, and follow. From the BBC to Reuters to Tucker Carlson show, left, right, in between, everywhere, it is commonly considered that Burisma is a Ukrainian company. We see this everywhere, Ukrainian firm Burisma. And Burisma is so often repeated as an allegation against Ukraine. You know, this is the idea that Ukraine is corrupt, and so no wonder there's this shady company called Burisma that is Ukrainian. Fact is, Burisma is much more Russian than it is Ukrainian, and here's why. In sworn testimony before the United States Congress in 2023, Hunter Biden's business partner, Devin Archer, said extraordinarily he was in Moscow in March 2014 meeting with the CEO of Burisma in Moscow, Mykola Zlochevsky. So if, if Burisma is so Ukrainian, why was its CEO, Mykola Zlochevsky, in Moscow the same day that Putin took Crimea? That doesn't sound very Ukrainian. And if we look, step back, a few weeks before, Mykola Zlochevsky had indeed been part of the Ukrainian government. He was Minister of Ecology and other things while CEO of a major energy company. And this is exactly the type of corruption that the Ukrainian people wanted to get rid of. They wanted to get rid of Moscow-based corruption that had been trying to plunder their country for centuries. And so they stood in the streets in 2013 and 2014, men, women, and children of all different ages throughout the country, until that corrupt regime of Viktor Yanukovych and his cabinet, including Mykola Zolchevsky, fled the country. Most of them went to Russia. And then two months later, we have evidence, as the New York Times reported years later in 2019, that from May 2014, Hunter Biden was receiving money every month, more than $70,000, we're told, from Burisma. His father in the Obama-Biden administration was largely in charge of Ukraine policy. And what, what was the policy of Obama-Biden in 2014 when Russia invaded sovereign Ukrainian territory? The United States does not, will not, never will recognize Russia's attempt to annex the Crimea. They refused to send weapons. They refused to stop Russia. And meanwhile, the vice president's son is making money not from a Ukrainian company, from a company whose CEO had been part of the corrupt government the Ukrainian people kicked out of their country. So before we keep calling Burisma a Ukrainian company, let's step back, let's see, maybe we're being lied to, and let's more closely examine uh, what exactly happened. And then from there, we can figure out uh, which side everyone is on. But at the very least, uh, we need to clear up the fact that Burisma is not Ukrainian. Ukrainians do not want that corruption in their country. And if anything, Burisma is a country with close ties to the Kremlin. And Burisma is also a company that benefited from Putin taking Crimea because Burisma has significant gas fields in the Crimean Peninsula, something we will talk about in the future. Please like, follow, and subscribe to hear these stories, not only of uncovering the corruption and the lies we are told, but also stories of inspiration from Ukraine every single day. Joe Lindsley reporting daily on Chicago's WGN Radio. Support our work at ukrainianfreedomnews.com. Thank you for introducing Ukraine on your social media pages. That's very important that much more people can get more information about the situation here and how everybody can help Ukraine to stay stronger and to save all the world. Well, which side are you on? Come on now. Oh, which side are you on? Let's eat this